Welcome to the channel, my name is Cody, and in this video, I'm gonna be walking you through step-by-step -step on how to open a Shopify store from scratch. We will be opening our very own dropshipping store using Shopify starting from the very beginning, so be sure to follow along, pausing as needed, and by the end of this video, you will be well on your way to opening your own Shopify store. So let's get started. Okay, so the very first thing that I'd recommend before you even enter your email address into Shopify is start with a brand new email address. If you're to use your personal email and this store ends up blowing up and getting a ton of sales, your email inbox is going to be flooded. So we want to keep our personal and our business email separate. So go ahead and use Gmail or something similar and open up a brand new email address. The name of it isn't going to matter. None of our customers are going to be able to see this. So go ahead and just choose something and enter it here to get started with Shopify. Once we enter our email address, Shopify is going to try to get us started, but we're going to go ahead and skip all. We'll be doing this all manually ourselves. Go ahead and select your country or region. For me, I'm from Canada. And just like that, we are into the Shopify dashboard. Now, the very first thing that I recommend is go ahead and select a plan. The reason we want to do this is so that we don't get this annoying pop-up every time and it's only going to be one dollar for our first month so why not go ahead and select your plan. Now to begin with I would recommend just selecting the basic plan. All of these other plans aren't going to be needed until we end up scaling our store and eventually these might become better options for us as they do take lower percentages for each of your purchases but to start we're just going to go with the basic plan and test some products and see how our store goes from there. So go ahead and select basic, enter your payment information, and just like that, we are signed up and ready to continue with building our store. Now, the very first thing we're gonna wanna do is name our store and see if we can get an available domain name. Right now, our store is just called My Store, and I don't think that's a very catchy title, so we're gonna have to come up with something a little bit better. Now, something to keep in mind when you are deciding a name for your store is are you just gonna be a single product store or are you gonna be a niche store? In the last video, we went over five methods to help us research and find winning products to drop ship with. Link up here if you haven't checked that out already. Ready? And I found a couple products in the health and wellness space that I want to test out. One of them being this neck massager and the other being this red light therapy wand. So rather than creating a single product store with a specific name, I want to create a general niche store in the health and wellness category. This way I can test one of these products and if it doesn't end up doing very well, I can easily switch to another product in the same niche. Now there are some really great tools to help you come up with some names and branding ideas. One of them is Namelix.com. Namelix is a business name generator where you can enter in a few keywords and they are going to give you a list of awesome names and even show you if the domain names are available. So in the keyword section, I'm just going to enter a few things like wellness, health, beauty, care, fitness, and hit generate to see what they come up with. Under name style, we're just going to go auto so that we get all styles. Randomness, we'll go high randomness so we get a ton of different results and we're not gonna add anything additional for the brand info. Let's generate some results. And right here, you'll see we have a ton of options. Now, all the ones with the little check marks mean that the .com domain are gonna be available. So holistic nature, we got stuff like lifestyle wellness, thrive well, which I kind of like, glow balance, better you, which is a really good one as well, and a ton of options. The, the list just continues to go on and on. So this can be a great tool to help inspire you and get some ideas of what not only your name can be, but what some logos could be as well. So two names that I really like from here is Better You down at the bottom here and Thrive Well, or maybe just Thrive. So what I would recommend doing before you decide on a name and naming your Shopify store is see what domain names are gonna be available for your word and for your name. So if we head back over to Shopify and click on settings and select domains, we will be able to buy a new domain directly through Shopify. So let's see if the domain for Better You is available. So Better You is not available. They do give you some other recommended ones, but I would try to get a .com domain because it's going to be the most trusted and the most reputable. So let's go ahead and try Thrive and see if there's anything available under that. Again, Thrive.com isn't available and I definitely don't want some of these other ones like Thrive.actor. But one thing we can try to do is add other words to our name. For example, if we try Thrive Health, maybe something is available. Okay, Thrive Health isn't available, but maybe Thrive Wellness is. Okay, so after a little bit of searching, I have landed on thrivehealth.store. Now, this isn't a .com domain like I would have liked, but there was absolutely nothing available using Better You or Thrive, so I opted for the thrivehealth.store. And one bonus of this is that it's on sale for just $9 for the first year, which is really great when opening a brand new store. That way, our initial startup costs aren't too high, and we're not going to break the bank just testing to see if we found a winning product. So let's go ahead and buy this domain. Okay, and now that we have purchased our domain, we can go ahead and rename our store. So let's go up here under settings to store details, click edit our profile, and we are going to be able to rename our store to Thrive. Go ahead and click save. And now when we refresh our store, it should change from my store to our new store name, which is 
is Thrive. Now, if you are planning on using Facebook or TikTok ads to advertise your product, I would recommend setting up your social media accounts right now. You can run into some issues on both Facebook and TikTok when trying to run ads on a brand new account. And even if you're not planning to advertise for a couple days or even a few more weeks until your store is fully built out, it's a great time to set up these accounts right now because both Facebook and TikTok ads can be a little tricky with brand new accounts. So this will at least give our social media accounts a little bit of age and hopefully avoid any issues with trying to run ads on brand new accounts. Accounts. So now that we have our store named and have purchased our domain, let's go ahead and start designing our dang store, the most exciting part. So let's go ahead and exit out of settings and under sales channels, let's click on online store. So the very first thing that we're going to have to do is go ahead and choose a pre-made Spotify theme to start developing our store. We can do this by going under theme library and going adding theme and visit theme store. And now we're going to get a list of the current 196 themes that Shopify offers. Now, a ton of these are paid themes and some of them can be quite pricey being 100, 200, 300, $400 even. So let's go ahead under here and click on free themes to see some of these really awesome free themes that Shopify has as well. Now, as you can see from scrolling down, there's a ton of options, all with very different looks, very different styles. And so we want to find one that's going to suit our niche and our store. Seeing as that I'm in the health and wellness and personal care one. One of my favorites for that is the Sense theme. As you can see in the example, they are going for skincare products here. And I think the way that this theme looks lines up very well with health and wellness, but we're gonna be able to customize these themes and turn them into our own anyways. But for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Sense theme because I think it's gonna fit best with my store and brand. So let's go ahead and click on that and click the try theme button. Okay, now under our theme library, you can see that the Sense theme has just been added. So let's go ahead and click publish to make this the current theme of our store. And this way we'll be able to start editing it. So as you can see, the sense theme is now our current theme. So let's go ahead and click customize to start working on this and creating our store. Okay, so this brings us to the homepage of our store. And this is where we are gonna start working on our Shopify store. Now, in my particular situation where I'm only gonna be testing one product at a time, the homepage isn't gonna be as important as my product page because I'm gonna send all of my ad traffic to the individual product page rather than the homepage of my home store. But it is still very important that your home page looks good in case someone ends up searching or if they're just browsing through all the pages of your store and stumble across the home page we want to make sure our entire website looks good so let's start by cleaning up this home page because there's a lot going on and a lot of things that we're not going to need as we scroll down here we see we have this entire featured product section which i'm not going to be using because i'm not going to have a whole catalog of products on my store so i'm going to go ahead and click that right here and i'm going to delete that just to get rid of that featured product section. Not something we're gonna need. The other thing I'm gonna get rid of is the email signup section. I just think they look trashy and I don't want one on my store. But again, this is personal preference. And if you wanna collect emails, feel free to leave this here. The great thing about this is you can customize your store however you like. I'm gonna get rid of the emails just cause I don't like them. Now what I am gonna add in here since we took out our entire collection is a single product and the first product that we're gonna be selling. So I'm gonna go ahead and click add section and click featured product. And just like that, we have added an example featured product to our homepage. This way when someone shows up, they're gonna be able to add their product right there without even going to the product page. But one thing that you'll notice is that there's a different color combo here than on the main page. So let's go ahead and select our color scheme and our color palette for our store. So by clicking on the theme settings over here and going under colors, we're gonna be able to customize our very own color schemes. Now, if branding and color schemes specifically isn't your strong suit, don't worry, I got you covered. There's this awesome website called coolers.com where they're gonna give you color palettes. So let's go ahead and start the generator to find our very own color palette that we want to work with. And now every time we hit spacebar, we're going to get a brand new color palette that we can choose from to add to our store and start developing our theme. Now, again, going through all of these is going to be a total personal taste and whatever you think is going to fit your store and your product the best. So if you want to pick some colors on your own, feel free to do it. But I absolutely love these color palettes because these are going to be colors that work very well with each other and are going to contrast each other very nicely. So if you don't think you have an eye for what colors are going to work great together, I totally recommend using something like this. And actually this one that I just landed on, I think looks kind of good for our store. It gives me the Thrive vibes. It's very bright. It's very happy. It's very positive. And in that health and wellness category, especially selling something like a neck massager, I think this could do very well. So let's go ahead and try these colors. So let's add a brand new color scheme. Now to add these colors to our store, I'm just going to go in between the two. I'm going to click copy the hex code. And when I go back over to Shopify, I'm gonna be able to click right here and go ahead and paste in my brand new hex code. And just like that, we'll have pulled in our brand new color. So let me go through and update these colors and we'll touch back in a minute. 
Okay, I've decided to go with this pink background. These colors, of course, can always change at any time, but this is gonna be my starting ground. So let's focus on designing the very first part of this homepage that you're gonna see, which is this text right here and this image. A great place that we're gonna be able to look for some stock photos, which are totally free, is on pexels.com. So we can go ahead and search some keywords and try to find some great photos for our store. Again, just like the colors, this is something we can go back and change at any time. And so I think we just need to throw some things in there and see how they fit. I really like this image right here. If I'm gonna be going for this neck massager as my first product, I really think something in the massage realm could do really well. So let's go ahead and download it and throw this onto our homepage. From our homepage, we can just click on the spot where we want the image to go, and then we'll be able to drag and drop our image right onto here, and it will be automatically uploaded. Now, do keep in mind that these images may be cropped into different angles, but I actually love the way that this was cropped down. I think I think this image looks great for my homepage and I'm gonna leave it as is. So let's go ahead and edit this left side here with this text and see if we can come up with something clever and eye-catching that are gonna make people wanna buy our product. Okay, so what I threw in here is let yourself thrive. Take a moment to focus on your well-being while enjoying a deep tissue massage and the comfort of your own home. I think this does a pretty good job of explaining our product. Obviously, the neck massager, something that you can do at home, and hopefully this drives some more people towards the Shop Now button, which will lead them to the product page. Now, continuing on with our homepage, if we scroll up to the top, we'll see this little announcement bar, which says, Welcome to our store, which I don't really like. I think this is a great spot where we can advertise free shipping, if that's something we're choosing to do, which I'm not going to do off the bat, or we can advertise some sort of sale. If there's a holiday coming up, like Independence Day or Christmas or Thanksgiving, this is a great time to put any type of sale there. You can do the seasonal, you could just say spring sale, summer sale, whatever it may be. Or if you want to have some sort of site-wide sale, you could put 50% off our entire store. Given that summer is just about to come up, I'm just going to put summer sale at the top and we can always edit this as new holidays come around or as we have some sales for our store. Okay, so as we scroll through our page, everything is looking pretty good. Obviously, we're going to need to add some products our product page, but I think the next place we can focus on is the footer. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off this follow on shop button because I don't think it looks very good for our store. It just takes a bit away from the aesthetic a little bit. Now, some nice things that we can add to the footer is a little bit of business info, like our name, our address, some store hours, and maybe a contact number or contact email. One thing that I forgot to mention that's included with our brand new domain name is a new email address. So our old email address that we signed up with is not going to be the one that we advertise on our store. So if we go ahead and exit out of the customized page, click on settings in the bottom left, and then click on domains. From there, if we click on our domain at the top and scroll down, we will see this area for email forwarding, which we don't have anything set up yet. So I'm going to go ahead and add a forwarding email. Our new email is going to be contact at thrivehealth.store and the receiving email address is just going to be the email address that you signed up with. So once we go ahead and save that, we'll see that we have a brand new forwarding email that is going to send it to the email address that we signed up with. So now we can use contact at thrivehealth.store as our main email address. And anytime someone sends us an email, it will automatically get forwarded to our personal email address or our business email address that we signed up with. So let's go ahead and exit back out of here, go back to online store themes and go ahead and continue customizing our store. And if we scroll down to the footer at the bottom, we are going to be able to add some business info. So let's go ahead and add a brand new text block to this where we can add all of the info about our business. Okay, so as the heading, I've just put our store. We have our store name, which is Thrive, an address, our hours, our phone number, and then a contact email address. Again, the contact at thrivehealth.store and not our own personal email address. Now, one more section that I'm going to add right here is a brand new menu. I'm going to go ahead and change it from quick links to menu. And we we will edit some of these menu items in a minute, but the first thing I want to do before I forget is get rid of this dang powered by Shopify at the bottom because I think it looks super unprofessional. I just wanted to say our store name down at the bottom. So to do this, let's make sure that we save our current store and head back to the main page. Now from our themes page, we're going to click on the three little dots beside our published theme and go down to edit default theme content. From here, we're just going to search powered by and where we see the links powered by Shopify, we're just going to put in a space as our brand new text and click save. Now, if we go back to customizing our online store and scroll down to the bottom where that footer is, we will no longer see the Powered by Shopify, which I think looks so much better. We are now well on our way to launching our very first store. We have taken care of naming our store, purchasing a domain, and beginning to design our homepage. And the next steps to completing our store will be diving into some more of the backend parts of Shopify. So in the next video, we'll be adding policy pages, adding some shipping rates to our store, along with a few more design elements on this homepage.
page. So if you're not already, make sure that you subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out as soon as that video goes live. And if you have any questions about anything covered in this video, be sure to drop a comment down below and I'll be sure to reply. Can't wait to see you back here for the next one.